All right, how's it going? Today we're cleaning my Cobb air filter that I haven't cleaned in a significant time. Um, Blake at the track actually asked me if I cleaned it recently and I have not. And it's definitely due for cleaning. I used to have two and then gave a filter away to a friend that needed it. So usually I'd, I'd be more on top of cleaning my air filter because I was able to rotate them out. But due now to the fact that I only have one, I kind of got forgetful, especially after the car sat for so long and over due time, it was definitely in need of a cleaning. So I think we'll just go ahead and spend a little time together because I haven't made a video in a while. Um, ooh, big old mosquito eater right there. Come on, man. Oh, see, I didn't want you to fly in there. Spend some time together, talk about what's going on, especially because, you know, not much is going on these days. And I think I'll just take the car out for a little spin, give it a little rip. Let everything flow. So, if you guys have never done this before, you're going to... comes with two cleaners. Uh, a cleaner one that's green. Um, here, I'll just show you guys. But I'm pretty sure if you own a Subaru and you have a Cobb intake, you have cleaned your intake. At least I hope so. So you get this one air filter cleaner. You take the intake off. You go ahead and smack off the dirt. Spray this on. Let it um, air dry for like 15 minutes. And then go ahead. Rinse from the inside out. Let it dry all the way. Um, I just let mine dry overnight. And then you go ahead and apply this liberally but not soaking it. And then you go ahead and let that dry. So, for instance, don't worry, I will clean up the mess I make on my mom's compost bin. Alright, that's good enough. I'll go ahead and put it back inside. So that it can dry naturally. I'll go ahead and use this old microfiber. Clean up my mom's compost bin. Alright, so how are you guys doing despite these times? Anything new going on with your car? With this downtime, are you building it up? What are you doing? Um, there he is. Come on, dude. Get out of here. Come on. There you go. What, are you guys doing anything interesting? Um, I think what I may do, because a lot of you guys actually asked, is for a video on my front splitter, like how it's mounted. Sorry, I'm just looking to make sure the angle you guys can see. Um, a lot of you guys asked how the front splitter is mounted, so I definitely think I will do a video on that. I was thinking, I know it's pretty, probably not the smartest and probably not the best thing to do, but Thunder Hill currently is renting out the track. You only can get two people to go on track. So me and someone else, and it's $2,500 for the day. So you're looking at $1,250 each. And then if an additional person wants to come, it's an additional $600 per person. I mean, if it, I'm honestly really thinking if this continues on for say another, until past August, that I will definitely highly consider splitting that with someone if they want to do it with me, but I have one of these still left. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. If you guys are interested, comment down below if you want this black and red OG uh, jet tag. No zip ties, that's an issue. So I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna keep looking around for zip ties. Found me some zip ties. So let's go ahead, put this filter back in, go for a little drive. I'm not sure how many zip ties I'm going to need. So pretty bored, I mean I, I still go to school online, um, I am still getting paid through work which is great, but we're, we just found out we're not going back to school at all this year. 
so basically means I don't work until end of August and I don't know how long this COVID crap is gonna last I mean it's not really crap it's legitimate but I still don't know how long it's gonna last because one I want to get back in the gym and two I'm just really tired of everything being shut down and having to stay inside Fun fact, for the longest time, I never ran the box. Whoa. Now I did the other day get stranded because my battery died, so I've been charging it. Hope, hope it works. Tops, I mean, I'm telling you, they aren't cheap. Alright, go ahead, let this warm up for a little bit. Then we'll jump in the car, go for a little spin. think it might be time for an alignment um, on highway speeds like 65 plus it was really shaking pulling hard to the left um, the wheel lots of vibration through it so I'm thinking because last time I did an alignment was with 
the NT01s in there right before Sonoma. So I think, um, well, it depends if I get new suspension or not, but an alignment is needed. Um, car pulls well, as you guys saw. And I mean, not much else to say about this car. It sits a lot. I was gonna wash it, but it's gonna rain again. Um, I put I put the mic on the back. Hopefully it picked up. I have not watched it in post yet, just because I know you guys would get super annoyed. I I was getting annoyed rewatching my video of just how loud the surge tank is. So if you guys want to see how I mounted this, I just get a long extension cable and then this mic which is hard to get off because it has the clips on the back just run it all the way through and you're good to go so that's how i usually run if i do an external um, audio source i've always wanted to because i saw one of my friends uh, he did a video with iag and they mounted you're not gonna be able to tell but they mounted a gopro looking at the external wastegate so every time it shot a flame like you guys can see under the external wastegate but yeah, that's going to cover it for this video. Um, I'm not going to show you my face because I haven't shaved in like two weeks. I'm growing this beard and mustache out and it looks pretty disgusting right now. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything, but take care guys.